What's going on, y'all? It's the kid Jay Nolan here. And just when you thought it was safe to listen to the Beyonce album without controversy, well, the tide has changed once again. Now, as y'all know, Beyonce's Renaissance album just dropped last week, and there was a lot of problems, namely going on with Khalees, right? So um, the song Energy was projected to have a sample of Khalees' old song, Get Along With You. Uh, when the song finally released, people discovered that that was not the case. It was actually an interpolation of Khalees' popular song, Milkshake, right? So the la 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 thing at the end of the record, the refrain that keeps going for about 18 seconds at the end of Energy is actually an interpolation, not a sample, okay? Now, in the music business, a sample typically costs more than an interpolation to clear, right? A sample, you're actually taking parts of both the composition and the sound recording. This is music business jargon, but just to simplify it for y'all, the composition is the writing, the lyrics, the notes, you can read it on sheet music. The sound recording is the actual music you hear when you press play. When you're taking a sample of something, you're taking both. Now, when you're doing an interpolation, you're basically uh, creating a remix of the composition, but the sound recording comes out different because you're not using anything from the original elements of that sound recording. Sounds a little complicated, but people in the music business, they understand this, right? So Khalees was angry because she hadn't even heard the song. She got tagged in a post. We've gone through all of that. I had a whole video talking about it. I even uploaded a video of Khalees responding to it her god dang self so we ain't got to really go there um however beyonce kept quiet she didn't say anything about the incident she didn't drop a comment but what she did do is go hey man take it out <laughs> just take it out the record all right so we're gonna take her off the sample credits we're gonna take the interpolation out of the record completely you know what i'm saying and we're gonna take pharrell and chad out of the credits too because they wrote they were they supposedly wrote that back in the day. If they didn't do it, if there's all this drama around it, I don't even want to associate which with this mess y'all got going on. This is exactly why I did background checks on you mother effers before I did the album, right? So she just took everything out. So pretty soon the version of the album that you heard last week will no longer be the album that you hear moving forward. It's gonna be slightly different, all right? Because she also took a slur out of uh, one of her songs as well you know there's this big issue going on in the world around the word spaz now of course in the urban dialect uh, we use the word spaz as just a way of saying somebody went crazy or somebody went wild or you know or you know say somebody makes a dope song like oh they spazzed on that like that joint fire they're saying the original usage of the word was derived as a slur right so people that have spastic uh, disorders you know, are offended. Lizzo just went through this about a month ago and now Beyonce is facing the same thing. So she's taking that out of the album as well. One thing I do want to clear up because I didn't get a chance to address this last week is that uh, when it comes to sample clearance, interpolation clearance, right? Uh, Khalees was mad that Beyonce did not physically call her. And I want y'all to understand that when you don't own a record, you are not entitled to any calls, right? I was just at a panel not too long ago, we spoke about this exact type of thing, right? So it's like, if you don't own a record and you don't own the composition, the publishing of the record, then you have no say so in who uses your record, right? So the people that do own it, whether you signed it away, not knowing it or whatever the case may be, you are not the person that caused that shot. You either own the master or you own the publishing. If you own neither, nobody's going to call you. You know what I'm saying? And the nature of the business is not a Beyonce to Khalees conversation. It's a Beyonce team conversation with whoever owns those elements of the song. So you reach out to the master owner. You reach out to the publishing owner. Nobody's wasting time talking to somebody who does not have the power to veto the decision. Right? Right? Just want y'all to understand that because this is how things work in the real world. We're not going off of idealism. We're not going off of altruism. We're going off of how things really work. In some cases, artists do own their masters or they at least own publishing. So you do 
make the decision to say, oh, let me call such and such. Like when Tory Lanez, even though we really ain't supposed to be talking about him like that till, you know, his incident gets cleared up or whatever happens. When he did all those samples on that album, the Chicks Tape, he called a lot of those original artists because those original artists own masters and or publishing on those records. He wanted to get their blessing. He wanted them to forward it to their team to push it through so that he wouldn't have to pay an exorbitant amount in order to do it without their approval. That's what happens when you have the power to veto a decision. However, unfortunately, Khalees said that back when she signed her deal in business with the Neptunes, they had agreed to split everything 33 and a third, right? As far as the publishing goes. She says that the final draft of that contract did not contain those elements. However, she didn't go back and double check it to make sure she was young and naive. However, that may have played out. That's how it went. I don't fault her for that, but I do fault her in 2022 having a fit when you already know what was done. So that's what I want y'all to understand. Now, let me know how y'all feel down in the comments. Y'all have definitely not held any punches with me on this subject up to this point. I don't expect y'all to hold none with me now, but it's okay because I'm going to get down there and I'm going to give you my responses and we're going to be cool. I don't care what you say. We're going to be cool. All right. So make sure you like and share this video. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel. All right. And hit that bell for post notifications so that you get all updates on new content. I'll see y'all on the next one. Much love and respect. Peace.